coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. I have never had so many people request a video as I have for the ColourPop lippy sticks and lippy pencils. Oh my god, you guys saw my little cup holder back here in several videos and I, I swear, I don't care what the video was about, you guys were like, show us some swatches of those lippy sticks because I've been wanting to buy them. And I do have to say, if you go on the website, it can be a little overwhelming because the descriptions don't really help. So unless you see a swatch on flesh or a swatch on someone's mouth, it's kind of hard to determine or decide which one you want to get. And I will have to say that if you separate the colors in like family, like color family groups, a lot of them are very similar and you kind of want to be able to pick and choose which one would go better with your undertone or your skin tone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple of swatches on my hands or on my arm so that you guys can get a general or a better idea of what the colors would look like. Now, the quality of these lip pencils is just amazing. It's a $5 lip pencil, a $5 lipstick. It comes in a really practical applicator, so it, the tip itself is very narrow, so you get into the Cupid's bow real easy. It's something that, it's kind of one of those products that is so affordable. It's, it's, I feel almost like it's okay to be able to have like 10 of these or five of these in your collection because they're creamy, they're not drying, they're hydrating, they don't bleed. Oh my God, I hate when lip colors bleed on me. They don't bleed, they stay on for a really long time. If you layer the lip pencil and the lippy stick, it stays on like 10 times more. Do you need to have both? Absolutely not. Um, the lip pencils are creamy enough that if you don't have problematic dry lips, you could just use the lip pencil. The lipsticks are creamy enough where it's hydrating, but not so creamy where it'll bleed. If you put them together, it's like a match made in heaven, but if you use them separately, it's almost like you don't need one and the other. You could use one or the other. You don't need both. But if you stack them together, like let's say you work long hours or you want it to stay on for a really long time, definitely keep them together and they will last six, seven hours. You know, you'll obviously have that normal wear on the inside of your mouth, but they're pretty awesome. So let me go ahead and show you some swatches. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started swatching these pencils. I'm going to start up here and then work my way down. I try to organize them in color order. I want to swatch all the lip pencils for you guys so you guys can see what they look like. And then I'm going to swatch a couple of the lippy sticks because those come in three different finishes. They come in satin, matte, and glossy. And depending on the finish is is how, how opaque it's going to look on your lips and obviously how shiny or how matte it is. The glossier ones tend to be a little bit more sheer and the matte ones, I mean, those are bam in your face, solid pigmentation. So I'm gonna start with the darkest color here and this is a purple color called Grind. And you're gonna see when I rub it on my skin, I mean, how absolutely soft these pencils are. These are not mechanical pencils, they do need to be sharpened, and you do need to have a sharp pencil sharpener, like the Grindhouse one from Urban Decay. This one here is a really deep color, it's called Leather, so it's not as a Barney purple as this one. This is more of a really, really dark, vampy purple. I mean, dark, dark, vampy purple. I'm going to show you guys LBB. This is more of like a whiny whiny, like like you're whining, no, more of like a wine or um, de uh, berry purple, if that makes sense. Oh God, I hope you guys understand me. I should just swatch them and keep my mouth shut. <laughs> this one is Bichette, and this is one of their best sellers. This is like one of the prettiest reds that I have ever seen, but it is a red with a pink undertone. So if you prefer reds that don't have a pink undertone, you might not want to get this one. Um, then I have, I heart this, and this is just a pink. They have so many different pinks, you guys. It's hard to just pick it's hard to pick one you're going to like. So this is I Heart This. I brought you guys in so you could see a little bit better. So this purple here is Grind. Then we have Leather. 
Um, this one here is LBB, then Bichette, then I Heart This. Uh, let's move on. This one right here is um, Punky. Look how beautiful this color is. That's punky. So you're like, is it pink? Is it peach? What is it? Who cares? It is beautiful. Then this one here is Scandi. And Scandi is one of my favorites because it kind of reminds me of Candy Yum Yum. It's one of those where there's no doubt in your mind that it's a hot pink. It is a completely hot pink, beautiful, flattering. This one here is called Gossip. Gossip is just like that pretty Barbie pink, like a dusty rose almost. Um, then we have Fetch. Fetch is like a salmon pink, so you guys can see that. It's more, it's more of like a nudie pink. Then we have Trixie. Trixie, I think, is an, another bestseller as well. This is like an, almost like an electric coral. On camera, it's looking more orange, but in person, it's more of like a pinky coral. If you see it on camera right now, you're like, oh, that's orange, but no, it is like a hot coral. Hot coral is like the perfect way of describing it. This one is Chi Chi, and that one is like a reddish coral. Why does it look so orange on camera? It's really not, you guys. I'm gonna have to take some pictures and show you so you can see it at the very end. It's not orange, it's really a, like a red, a red, a red hot coral. And then this one is Brunch. I wonder where they came up with these names. I know why I named mine, but this is brunch here, and this is just a regular peach. Just a classic peach, even though it looks orange. <laughs> and then this one is called Cake. I'm not gonna argue with that name. That name is amazing, I love it. And it's a, such a beautiful, peach, like a pastel peach. Super pretty. Then we have um, Bound. Bound is basically the Kylie Jenner color. I mean, if you look at it, that's the Kylie Jenner color. It reminds me of Whirl from MAC. And then we have Button. Button is another um, sort of nudie brown. So if you see this one, this is like a mauve, like a mauve nude, and then this is like a, just a regular nude nude. A little bit more warm, a little bit more cool but they're very similar. So if you wanted like the Kylie lip, you would get one of these. Um, just pick the one that would match your undertone better. And then this is the lightest one. This one is called Skimpy. And this one looks horrific on me. It just gets lost completely. That's the lightest color in the collection. All of these colors have a mate. So all of the lip pencils have a lipstick mate that is supposed to match them really good. Some of them are exact mates. So if you see this color, the lipstick looks exactly the same. It's just creamier. But some of them, it's actually a little bit different so that it complements the color and kind of changes it a little bit. So let me show you a couple of examples. This one here is cake and this is glossy. It's a glossy finish. And I'm pretty sure this one here was cake. So you could see it's a really beautiful, creamy, glossy finish. And it matches the lip liner perfectly. Then let me show you a different one. If you guys aren't familiar with the presentation, it just comes in a white pencil form like this, the colors on the bottom. And then that's what the tip looks like. All the colors match. It's so beautiful how matchy-matchy it is. This is a satin finish, and this is Scandi. I told you guys this was like the candy yum yum type of hot pink. Really pretty. And you could see satin colors are so much richer. Do you see that? It's just super creamy. You can absolutely see no skin coming through any of these lip colors. Then let me show you um, Button. I think Button was the one that's a little bit different. So you see Button, the color it is, and I think this was the color that they partnered it with this one right here. Do you see how different it is? Totally different, but when you bring them together, they complement each other so well. So if you wanted to get the set, these are your options. You could wear the lipstick alone and make it look like that. You could wear it with the lip liner mixed together and it looks like that, or you could wear the lip liner on its own and it looks like that. So it's almost like a really versatile set. It complements each other, 
but on their own they're different together they create their own really beautiful shade I'm sure some of you want to see some of the darker colors so I'm going to show you Bichette which is one of their best sellers and you could see what that looks like there um, and that was this color I'm pretty sure it was this color right here so you could see that how beautiful it is super creamy I mean this is a really beautiful fall color I mean you would be super on trend with the season and then let me show you guys leather leather is the really dark purple shade over here that's this one right here do you see how the color is different so the lip pencil itself is a really really dark purple if you bring it together it's going to complement each other very very well or you could use it on its own and it would be more of like a purple shade so you see the pencil on its own is really dark if you mix them together it creates a full opacity so it's not as um it's not as patchy you know how dark colors can be a little patchy to create that evenness it's a little hard so if you mix them together you you cancel out that patchiness and then on its own it's a really beautiful just classic purple shade but obviously this collection would not be complete if I didn't show you guys Frida and Frida is my own collection if you guys saw the video that I posted right before this one you know exactly what I'm talking about and I created a color for ColourPop and this color is important to me because it's the perfect if there was a way to combine pink peach and nude this is the color that you would get and I feel that it's very flattering on almost any skin tone you could wear it with absolutely any eye look and any outfit so the lip pencil looks like this do you guys see how soft that is I mean I'm not even I'm not even rubbing it and compared to the other neutral lip pencils this one is a lot more uh, it's a lot more warm and pretty you know it's a lot more delicate it's more of a romantic nude then the lippy stick looks like this and this is what the color looks like. I chose the satin finish because although I'm a fan of matte, matte can be a little bit drying on people that have dry lips already. And satin is going to give you that full pigmentation with a tiny bit of creaminess or shine to it so that it's going to feel a lot more comfortable on the lips for most people. So you can see there is the lip pencil and there is the lipstick and they're just, oh, it's what I've been wearing nonstop in all my videos. I'm totally obsessed with this color. And not just because I picked it out. It's, gen it's genuinely an ultra flattering, foolproof, easy to wear color with any eye look, any makeup, any outfit, any mood you're in. I mean, look at how pretty that is. I am totally tooting my own horn and I am loving it. <laughs> so that is it for this ColourPop swatch and review video. I really hope you guys liked it. I'm really happy with them. I find that there's always one in my purse. And not to mention the price is so affordable. Each of them are $5, whether you get the lip pencil or the lip color. It's nice to find a brand that is going to offer high quality products at a really affordable price. And they're made in the USA, which makes jobs for us here in the USA. So that's always a really good thing. Um, I'm really, really happy with these products. Like I told you guys before, these are not automatic pencils. So you do need to have a really good sharpener on hand. Um, the one from Urban Decay, the Grindhouse Sharpener. I think it's it's $5 during the holidays and like $10 regular price. It's a really good sharpener. Some of you guys told me the one from Essence at Ulta is also a really good sharpener. This is one of those like plastic type materials, almost like the L'Oreal Silk Seam pencils. So it's really important to have a really sharp pencil sharpener so that you don't break off the tip of the pencil. The pencil is really soft too, so remember that you don't want to sharpen it too much or you'll lose some of the product. So really happy with these products. I'm going to list them in the description box below in the way that I, in the order that I swatched them on my arm in case you're like, oh, what was that purple one? What was that? So when you're watching the video, you'll kind of have a list to go along with it. 
Obviously, my favorite color is Frida, so I really hope you guys will get that one. Maybe take a picture and tag me on Instagram or Twitter. I'd love to see how Frida looks on you guys. I really, really, I'm really excited that I get to share these opportunities that come to me with you. You are my inspiration and the reason that I'm here. So don't forget to tag me in your ColourPop lippy selfies. I really love to see how beautiful you guys look. And as always, if you guys found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up for subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys!